In 1997, Promise Keepers put a million men on the mall to pray for America, an historic event in church history. And I begin to declare the hearts of the fathers are turning to the children, and there's coming a corresponding movement of the young people turning to the fathers. I had no idea what was being launched. It led to a supernatural series of events that on September 2nd, into the new millennium, 400,000 young people gathered together for 12 hours to cry out to God. It launched the movement of the call, and now we're 16 years into that movement. I always knew that the call was some kind of like a John the Baptist type movement because it was about fasting and prayer and Nazarites. And it was about turning America back to God. It was after this that I began to ask the question, has the call failed? Because we haven't seen America turn back to God. And the Lord spoke to me when I asked that question. And he said, Lou, if it truly was a John the Baptist type movement, you can bet there's a Jesus movement coming. It's another massive baptism of the Holy Spirit. And that's what we're dreaming about. For three years, we begin to pray stadiums would be filled. So I call my friend and I tell him this story. And he says, Lou, do you remember my dream that I had? He says, in the dream, I received five sets of five plane tickets. And in the dream, we could only fly united. And he knew it had to do that the church must unite because only a united church can heal a divided nation. He said, I was so concerned that I would miss the expiration date. And it was in 1,080 days, the tickets expired. I wake up from the dream, look up 1,080 days from the dream. Guess what day it is? It's April 9, 2016, the 110th anniversary of the Azusa Street Revival. From that moment on, I've known that God has a date with His church. As we're praying this, my friend and I, we actually go to the Memorial Coliseum in Los Angeles, and somehow they let us get in there and we claim it for Stadium Christianity. Then I get an email from a young lady in Washington State. She says, I had this dream. I saw this huge stadium and it was both a football field and it was a baseball field. It was so vivid. She said, I woke up and I Googled to see if there was any stadiums that was both the Super Bowl and the World Series. She said, there's only one. It's the Coliseum in Los Angeles. I think you're supposed to do the Colazusa there. So I was convinced in my heart that God wanted to do the stadium, but I just didn't have faith to raise the kind of money that it would cost to buy the field. I was reading Matthew 13, and it says when a man finds a treasure, he goes and hides it in a field and sells all that he has to buy that field with joy. You know, there just comes a time when you just want something more than anything else. For me, my calling has been revival for 40 years. And I would rather get revival than anything else except my own kids loving Jesus. And I sense the Lord said, sell the house to buy the field, the stadium, for the treasure of the unity of the body of Christ and for revival. This is not about some huge thing that I'm doing. I could care less if anybody knows about it, but I want revival. And I think we're at a point in America that everybody's got to begin to ask the question, how much do we really want God in America? Maybe it's time for the whole body of Christ to buy the field, to sell out for the greatest outpour of the Holy Spirit. I believe in the next year, we will begin to see the greatest awakening America has ever seen. And we won't just talk about the past, we'll talk about the future, a new Jesus movement, a new Azusa Street. Come, not just join us, Let's work together, mobilize, and move this thing across the earth. We're not going for an event. We're going for a massive race. It's not just Azusa then. It's Azusa now.